Hey guys, I'm Cody at Irvine Fast Life Pro, and for this Cuta Shader tutorial, I thought I'd take the time to teach you how to change the light source color in the latest public Cuta Shader, this one being the Cuta V6.1.13 Beta Ultra. Yes, it's about time. So, let's begin. First, have the Cuta shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate composite.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 615. For adjusting the light source color, these three numbers following the VEC3 are what we'll use. I've said this many times in my tutorials, but I'll say it again. If you're unfamiliar with the RGB setup, then listen carefully. First number operates your red, second your green, and third your blue. As for an example to start things off, I'd like to saturate the color to have it give off more of a vibrant and colorful look, since you could reason that at its current state, it's quite, in quotes, neutral. So, I'm going to change the numbers to 1.22, 0 0.70, and 0 0.35. Before we move back into Minecraft, I have one more comparison that I'd like you to see. As with all my Cuta Shader tutorials, versions and time will change, so if you have any questions then I'd be happy to help you out in the comment section down below. If this Cuta Shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.